y'all welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing my second true crime slash murder mystery video um i had such a great response on my last one from people on instagram from people on youtube um y'all seem to really like it and um everyone on instagram kept giving me so many good case requests and i am definitely going to do those but i heard this case um if y'all haven't seen one of my last videos it is that we got a puppy and um while we were driving from new york city to pennsylvania we listened to some podcasts and um i like ended up listening to more of these podcasts later in the week and i heard this case lynn messer was a 52 year old american woman um she lived with her husband carrie messer on their farm which was consisted of 260 acres they were married for about 34 years i think it was and um everyone said they had an amazing loving marriage um lynn was very caring uh, her daughter-in-law elizabeth said that she was most dependable woman and like if you needed her she would drop everything she was doing and she would be there in two seconds to help you um and everyone said that she was an amazing friend she was an amazing grandmother and just she was just an awesome person in general um she loved her animals she loved her farm she took so much pride in it and she was working on it from sun up to sun down it was her pride and joy it really was her husband carrie worked on the farm but he also was a conservative lobbyist for christian and family values and he worked in jefferson city was which wasn't too far from bloomsdale um and i'm pretty sure he he would take like weekly trips there and that was just like his job but he also helped work on the farm as well her two sons are aaron messer and abraham messer aaron was the oldest he was 33 um he is divorced and has three kids i believe he has two girls and one son um and then abraham messer was married to elizabeth messer and he was 32 at the time and they actually lived on the farm but since the farm was so big they lived on like Elizabeth and Abraham lived on the total opposite side than um, Abraham's parents did. But yeah, they all were really close. They all helped with the farm. Um, and Aaron lived about 30 minutes away from the farm. But yeah, they just really all helped each other out and seemed to be like the perfect family, like that all-American family. That's kind of what they painted the picture as. Pretty much it was farm. They worked on the farm and went to church. That was, they said every time that church was open, they were there. And so people kind of painted them as like this all-American, perfect, got it together kind of family. Lynn had lost her father six months before her disappearance. Um, she was really, really close to her dad and her sister said that it really hit her hard um, and really affected her probably the most um and then about a month after her dad passed away lynn got some really bad news that she had uh developed a hip condition and it was going to end up disabling her um from doing what she normally does on the farm she wouldn't be able to do as much as she does and she would have to take it slower there was possibility that she could get a hip replacement but they said the doctor said that they would not operate until she was much older which was kind of devastating to her so a lot of this was happening and she was just really really emotionally distraught at her father passing away and then now knowing that her life was going to be completely altered and she wouldn't be able to have as much of an active lifestyle as she did whenever she would get upset she would go for mile walks like people said that or her son said that at one point she would go for like a 10 mile walks uh, just regularly because she would just get so stressed out so easily and she would just have to walk it off so she would be gone for hours and hours and hours and they just knew that was just what lynn did she would just go for walks and she'd come back and her mind would be so much clearer um i agree with that completely i mean that's something so normal that i think a lot of people do when they get stressed out they just need to walk away from the situation and take a deep breath but on July 7th, 2014, Lynn had gone to Walmart that evening and she picked up a few Bibles, she picked up some uh, arts and crafts supplies. She regularly did a Bible study for the kids in the community and would have them come over and just teach them about Jesus and um, just do a little Bible study for them. On July 7th, 2014, the night before she went missing, um, she had called and left a message for her son Aaron. He was supposed to be bringing over his kids the next day and they were going to do swimming and they were just going to have like a fun little day at... Um, the farm and she had told him like left in his message she said hey bring over um your son's summer school work and i'm gonna help him with his math i'm gonna help him with everything um and also we can all just do like a swim day she had also been texting elizabeth who is abraham's wife back and forth saying hey do you guys want to come over and do like a swim day in the afternoon before the bible study and she had made plans she was making a full day of plans like was gonna be with her grandkids was gonna you know they're all gonna swim have a really nice afternoon in the summertime and she was gonna do the bible say like it's not something normal whenever people are just gonna 
up and leave or anything like that that they are just gonna make a full day of plans for the next day around 4 a.m on july 8th 2014 carrie messer woke up to very loud sounds of a thunderstorm outside and um, he looked to his side and noticed that lynn was missing and he wasn't really concerned by it because he was like, okay, either she's off at the bathroom, she could be downstairs getting something to drink, or um, she could just be walking around. Uh, Lynn did actually have a really tough time with going to sleep and staying asleep, so she took sleeping medicine, and he was like, maybe she just couldn't go to sleep, especially with thunderstorms, so maybe she's just walking around the house. But after a little bit, he kind of noticed that he didn't hear anything. He didn't hear anyone walking, he didn't hear her messing with anything, so he realized it was a little odd that there was no sounds that would indicate that Lynn was in the house. So he got up and that's when he noticed that her car keys, her ID, her passport, like her boot that she used because she had a foot injury. Um, so she would always put her boot on whenever she'd get out of bed and walk around. Um, was still all in the same place that it was whenever they got in bed um, earlier that night. So he was really concerned at that point and noticed that something had to be really wrong so he went outside to look around for her it was a thunderstorm so why would she be outside it was just really odd but so he headed off to abraham and elizabeth's house on the other side of the farm he was really concerned that he couldn't find his wife so he was banging on their door he tried to open the door but um he didn't know if they had a latch installed so he was like really trying to like get in which um scared elizabeth and abraham they thought maybe okay what's going on they thought maybe is like their house on fire what is happening why is um why is Carrie outside yelling Abraham's name he was just like Abraham Abraham just yelling um very distraught and Abraham got up ran outside um onto the front porch and that's whenever he saw his dad had no shirt on and he was so just like scared uh so Abraham asked his dad like well, what what's wrong and Abraham was really, really confused by the answer from his father, Carrie. Um, Carrie responded and just said, did you bring that four-wheeler over here? And Abraham was just like, what do you mean today? Yeah, he was like, yeah, I brought the four-wheeler over here last night. That's what I used to drive home. And all Carrie did was turn around and walk back to his truck. And before he got back into his truck, he just looked at Abraham and said, I can't find your mother. He got in his truck and drove away. Abraham was really confused and said that he was just kind of stunned and just stood there like what had just happened? He just woke me up at like 4.15 in the morning, um, just, to just told me that my mom was missing and got back in his truck and drove away. Very, very weird situation and then he asked about the four-wheeler. It was just a really odd situation and Abraham was so confused so he went back inside to talk to Elizabeth and tell her what had happened and Elizabeth just said, you know, I'm sure everything's okay. Maybe... Your mom went to the apartment that was above the barn to use the bathroom. So apparently they were having some septic issues and sometimes they would use, uh, Lynn and Carrie would use the bathroom in the apartment that they had above the barn. And she's like, maybe she went there, used the bathroom and then just fell asleep on the couch there and was like, you know, I'll just head back in the morning. Um, since there was a thunderstorm and Abraham was like, yeah, you know, you're probably right. But Abraham also thought maybe she's lost around the farm. She'll make her way back or dad will find her, which was very odd whenever he said that his mom was lost because Lynn knew this farm. I mean, this was Lynn's farm. She practically had lived there her whole life and it's just very odd that she would get lost. Um, and he recalled that one point when he was 10 years old, um, him and Aaron and his father woke up from his mom freaking out because she was lost in their dining room. Like she couldn't find her way out of the dining room. Um, he said that that there was no other sources that said that she was suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia or anything like that, but it would be weird that she suffered one time 20 something years ago from being lost, but that she would suffer from it again 20 years later. It's just weird. Like you would think that there'd be more of a pattern. Um, so it doesn't really seem like it would make sense that she would get lost one time 20 years ago and then she'd get lost again. Um, but I don't know maybe there was more at play and they just didn't you know talk about it or they didn't want to share that much with it but i don't know it was just really kind of odd that he would even suspect that she got lost um if this only happened one time when he was really young so elizabeth and abraham go back to sleep they are confident that carrie will find her and then in the morning they will see the mom laugh they'll see his mom and laugh about it and just be like you know dad freaked out but they go back to sleep and at 6 30 a.m the next morning aaron um their other son that lives about 30 minutes from the farm gets there to do his normal you know morning tasks and as he gets there um his father father approaches him and says i haven't been able to find your mother and she left a note 
Aaron was so thrown off by this. He was not, he hadn't heard anything about his mother miss, being missing or anything like that. So whenever his father just approached him and just said, hey, by the way, I can't find your mom. And she left me a note and it has me concerned. Aaron was very, very confused. And he said, well, what did the note say? And all Carrie said was the first line. I'm sorry, Pa, but I love you. And then he got in his truck and drove away. Aaron was so confused about this and didn't understand why his dad just walked up, told him this, and then drove away. And Aaron decided, okay, I can't do the tasks that I'm supposed to be doing on the farm. I need to look for my mom. So Aaron decides to drop what he's doing and he goes and he looks for his mom. He th he's thinking that maybe did she kill herself? What had happened to his mother the night before that no one was telling him? So he starts looking around the farm and he looks in barrels. He's looking all throughout the barn. He is just just trying to look in any place that he could possibly think he looked in the apartment that i had talked about earlier and he didn't find his mom um once he realized that you know the police hadn't come and his dad had been looking for his mom all night and he had to call the police so he drove home um i'm not entirely sure why he drove home it was either that there was no that not good cell service where he was or um that his phone was at home i'm not entirely sure because i've read two things about it but um, he drove home and called the police and said that his mother was missing. Um, I can also link that call down below in the description box if y'all want to hear it. He calls the police and, you know, tells them that his mother is missing. He decides that he needs to drive back because the phone number he gave for a callback number was his parents' landline and he needs to be on the farm and he doesn't know if his dad's going to be home. So he drives back to the farm to go and wait for the call if there's going to be a call from the police if they need anything or need any help with directions to get there. So at that time around, I think it was like 7.15 a.m. Abraham is talking to his dad and Carrie tells him you know hey I still want to find your mom and there's a note and Abraham's like there's a note what are you talking about why didn't you show me this last night what's going on and Abraham is just like well what can I help with like what do I need to do and all Carrie says is can you go move um, the cows because we need to do cattle rotation and Abraham was really confused his mother's missing and his dad's worried about the cattle rotation but his dad was, you know, not the kind of dad that you say, no, I'm not doing that, or why do you want me to do that? He just said, okay, I'll go do it. But Abraham was just really confused at why at this point in time his dad needed him to do that. So Abraham goes out to the farm um, and does the cattle rotation. Carrie later on explains that the reason he told Abraham to do the cattle rotation was because the night before, Lynn had reminded him that it was overdue and that it really needed to be done the next morning. So that's why Carrie told Abraham to do that. But I don't know. If my mom was missing, uh, any tasks, anything I needed to do, I would just completely forget because my whole brain would be focused on finding my mom and or finding like my husband in that situation. I just, I don't know. That's just very weird to me. But anyway, so Aaron gets back to the farm and him and Abraham kind of, you know, get, the, get around the same area around the house at the same time and they start talking about the note and everything that's going on and how just weird it is and how strange it is. Well, at this time, the police show up to talk to Carrie and Abraham and Aaron. And at this time, um, Carrie decides to show the police this note. Whenever the police see this note, they end up asking Carrie, you know, well, was Lynn depressed? It's just like, no, my wife was never depressed. Like, I can't even believe you would even ask that or assume anything like that. The police then asked, well, was she on antidepressants, you know? Is there any medication that she was on? And Carrie just was so just frustrated with the police that they would even ask if she was on antidepressants. And he just said, no, never. She's not on antidepressants. She never has been. And Abraham is so confused at this point because his mom has been on antidepressants for a decade now. And everyone in their family knows it. It is, you know, nothing that they're ashamed of their mom about being on because it's nothing to be ashamed about but abraham's just confused at why his dad is telling the police that she's not antidepressants when she's been on him and everyone in their family knows it at this point elizabeth abraham's wife steps in abraham did you tell them about what happened in the barn the police are just like what is happening here what are you leaving out at that point abraham says six months previous around the time that his mother's father had passed away lynn took a gun into their barn and attempted to kill herself um she ended up not going through with it thankfully and as soon as abraham told that to the police carrie was outraged that he would even say this um carrie started screaming you guys are liars i don't know why you're saying this like that never happened and it, 
Elizabeth just replied, no, stop yelling at me. And yes, it did happen because Lynn told me that it happened. Once he, once, once Elizabeth said that, Carrie kind of backed up and was just like, oh, I didn't know you knew about that. Which is so, so weird. Like, you just accused them of lying about the situation and now you're going to say, oh, I didn't know you knew that. Just, he's, Carrie is keeping secrets and something's just so off about this whole situation. So Abraham, Aaron, and Elizabeth all assumed that Carrie knew way more than he was leading on and the police kind of kind of suspected the same thing but the police after hearing that Lynn had tried to Lynn was going to kill herself six months previous that they thought okay maybe she just went into the woods and harmed herself and that's where she is so the police decided to mark off the house that it was a crime scene and to get searchers out and start searching the police got hundreds of people out they gridded out the farm they gridded out the 160 acre or the 260 acres my bad and um went for their first search. They actually searched the entire 260 acres three times just to make sure that they went over every piece of land and that they weren't missing anything. Um, and another thing that y'all should know is that Lynn was on sleeping medication and she was on antidepressants. And about three times previous to this, she had taken too much of one or the other and had gotten to a car accident and had gotten lost in her kitchen. Um, and one of her friends said that uh, she got lost in her kitchen. Her family, the her boys did not know that this had happened, but one of her friends said that, yes, she actually got lost in her kitchen and accidentally gave herself a black eye because of it. So it's happened before and it happened previously, but no one really knew if that was the cause of all this or what. After the police heard that this had happened before and that she had taken sleep, had she, and she takes sleeping medication and she takes antidepressants, they thought maybe she got up and walked around the farm until she ended up on the highway and she was in a disoriented state and got in the car with someone. After the police had searched the farm and they had found no sign of Lynn and they had gone to the highway, they actually, that night, um, that night following after she had disappeared, they decided to close down the road and stop anyone that was coming through to ask them if they had seen her, if they had been driving the night before and if there was any witnesses to any foul play or just seeing her being very disoriented. Uh, nothing came back, they had found nothing, and the next day they came back with a new strategy. They decided that they were going to give a polygraph test to everyone in the family, and only one person failed the polygraph test, and it was Abraham Messer, who was Lynn's youngest son. Abraham claims that he failed it, but he has nothing he had nothing to do with the crime, he had nothing to do with his mother's disappearance, and he is completely innocent, and Elizabeth backs him up on it. But after he failed it, the police were very suspicious of it, and they decided to interrogate him for nine hours following the polygraph test. During the nine hours of interrogation, they decided to ask him, why did he move the cows? Why did the cow rotation happen? And was he trying to cover up any kind of evidence? Abraham was so confused at why they're asking about the cow rotation and he just really didn't understand, you know, the questions, the situation, and he didn't understand how he even failed. But the police then told him that whenever they had the search dogs going around the farm, there was a scent from the house all the way until where the cows were moved, there was a scent of Lynn's and that whenever, since the cows were moved, the scent had disappeared. So it rose a lot of suspicion against Abraham and the police were really kind of pointing fingers at Abraham and why this was all happening. Abraham then claimed that, you know, his father told him to do it. So maybe his father was trying to switch the blame from him, from Carrie to Abraham. So the police were really confused at that point and decided to call Carrie in to interrogate him and figure out why did he have his son move the cows after all after, after his wife was missing it was just really odd um carrie just said you know it needed to be done and that that morning he was also trying to wash his dog so he told uh abraham to move the cows the police then thought it was really strange that carrie was washing his dog the, but he couldn't find his wife like you can't find your wife but you're gonna take get the dog a bath that is very very strange very 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 strange to everyone um anyone that's heard that is just like what why like the first thing i would think of is not to wash my dog if someone was missing um and he also washed his dog in the bed of his truck which was not normal for him so the police ended up you know looking for evidence in the truck and sent some tests from the bed of the truck and found that there was no blood and 
nothing like that in there. But another question the police had for him is whenever they were actually searching the house, they found several bottles of bleach. And Carrie claimed that they made their own bleach. But after listening to a few people that actually live on farms, they were very confused that how and why would you even make your own bleach? Like, it's just so strange. Like, yes, you use bleach a lot, but why and how would you even make it? Um, that That's just what some people, I, I was like, okay, they make their own bleach. But then after hearing that it's not common, I was like, that's so weird. Why would, why would they make their own bleach and how? Like, how do you make your own bleach? So very, very weird situation with Carrie, why he washed his dog in the bed of the truck, why he had his son move the cows, and why there was just bleach in the bathtub. So going back to the note that Lynn had left, after Aaron and Abraham had actually seen the note, they had noticed that something was so off about it. Lynn had always written in cursive. She always wrote very beautiful and it was so pretty i mean my grandma she always writes in cursive and it's just some of the most beautiful handwriting i actually have it tattooed on my hand or on my arm but um so i know if my grandma wrote a letter and then disappeared and it was in like just regular handwriting like not cursive i would be like okay there's something so off what why what is this letter because it's definitely not my grandma um so for aaron and abraham they were so confused at as to why her handwriting it was they felt like it was her handwriting, like it looked very similar, but it wasn't in cursive. So they were just really confused. The police were really confused by it. Also another weird thing was that um, the first two lines of the letter was written in just like regular pen, just like, you know, regular felt tip pen. And then a big paragraph in the middle was written in Sharpie. And then the last line was written in that same pen. So why would someone pick up a pen, write the first two lines, then pick up a Sharpie and write, you know, and sharpie and then pick up the pen again and write the last line it's so strange it's just so weird um and it was also written on printer paper and people said that she always wrote on um specific paper like her stationery so they thought it was really weird that the letter was on just regular printer paper and not her stationery it's just found the letter extremely odd the handwriting and everything so they actually sent it off to quantico virginia um to the fbi to have it um to have a handwriting analysis done to it and it actually came back um inconclusive that they could not that the fbi could not figure out if lynn had actually written this letter or not um it was just so weird and the letter had ended up leaving everyone with more questions than any answers and that's where you know the trail kind of ends for that point in time you know they were the family was just really confused the family just hated that they couldn't find their mom and they were just left with no answers but about seven months later a huge secret emerges within the messer family carrie had been seeing a family friend this family friend had been you know with them for about 20 years she was very very close with lynn with carrie with the boys and everything and her name was spring and carrie and spring had started to date Abraham and Aaron were outraged. They were not happy. I think Abraham was more pissed than anything um, or more pissed than Aaron. He was just so confused. Seven months later and his wife had still not been found and he was going to start dating one of their really good family friends. Very, very weird and the whole family thought that Carrie and Spring had probably started dating before Lynn disappeared and Lynn possibly could have known about it. About a week before Lynn disappeared, Spring and Lynn had actually met up and afterwards Abraham and Aaron and Elizabeth all claim and even uh, Lynn's sister had claimed that Lynn was just so off that after meeting with her for that next week, she was so on edge. She was just very weirded out by something and they just didn't know what it was. And once Elizabeth found out that Carrie and Spring had started to date, Elizabeth had said, you know, something had triggered in her mind and she remembered the conversation she had the day before Lynn disappeared. Lynn had told her, if anything happens to me, I want Spring to marry Carrie. And Elizabeth was just like, Okay, first off, if anything happens to you, what are you afraid that's gonna happen to you? Like, it's weird, not if I die, if I, you know, whatever. It's if something happens to me. Like that's just very strange. That's strange verbiage to a lot of people. And it's strange verbiage to me. Like, it's like, you know, people are like, oh, if I die, I want, you know, my dog to go to so-and-so. It's not like if something ever happens to me, like that's just so, such an open-ended, you know, statement. 
but she said that and then Elizabeth was just kind of like well why would you want Spring and Carrie to be together that's so weird as well um but yeah I don't know it was just a really weird situation and Elizabeth actually didn't press Lynn on it she wishes she did she really regrets not being like what are you talking about what do you mean uh Lynn just kind of went back to driving as normal and Elizabeth just kind of sat there and let her talk after that um so there wasn't really any questions that Elizabeth asked Lynn it just that was a statement that she made and then it was over after the police had found out that Carrie was dating Spring a very close family friend they had thought of two um really good theories in their minds and they decided that they would talk to Aaron and Abraham about it and get their inputs their first theory was that Carrie killed Lynn um and Abraham honestly really felt like this was true. He felt like, yeah, his dad killed his mom. Um, Aaron seems like the kind of person that just like sees the best in everyone and doesn't want to, you know, doesn't want any drama, doesn't want any conflict. So he just kind of stayed out of it with his inputs and his opinions. Their second theory was that Lynn killed herself and that Carrie covered it up. So maybe Lynn killed herself and Carrie was like, no, 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 like our family is not like this. Our family can't, you know, our family's perfect. So he decided he would just cover it up and then act like she's a missing person. Um, maybe to get sympathy, maybe to be with Spring, who knows? That was the two theories the police were really going off of. Um, but two years goes by and nothing new. That was it. And they were just kind of stuck. They hadn't found Lynn and that was all there was. Okay, so sorry if the lighting's changed or anything like that. Um, my camera got overheated, so I had to turn it off, let it cool down. So let's get back into the case. So two years goes by and nothing new. They did not find Lynn and no new evidence or witnesses or suspects have emerged. But on November 21st, 2016, Aaron and his two daughters were walking along the farm and they discovered a human skull. Aaron said that as soon as he saw the skull, he knew that that was his mother's skull and that they had gotten some kind of an answer and that they were able, they were going to be able to put his mother to rest um, knowing that they at least have her body. The FBI came to the farm and they uncovered an entire human skeleton that ended up being Lynn Messer. They also discovered that it showed that the body had actually never been buried um, and police wonder actually how did Lynn die and how did searchers, how did police, how did the family miss Lynn's remains for two years and her remains were actually found where the cattle had been moved. So it was just so strange. How did they never find her remains for two years and if they were never buried then it's just so weird. It leaves so many more questions, um, but at least they found Lynn and they know um, that, you know, they can put her to rest. But a huge question is how did she die? And the coroner report says that they still have yet to discover how she died. The police don't know. No one knows exactly what caused Lynn's death. So that is the end of the case. I'm going to get into the theories now and just kind of talk to you all a little bit about each of the theories that people have out there about this case. But um, it's so strange. Like, the, just the whole the whole case in general is so weird um but i'm really curious to hear what y'all think actually happened to lynn so here are the theories that um i've seen a lot of people talking about out there and um i'll tell y'all what i think actually happened number one is that carrie messer killed lynn messer so i really think that this c really could have happened um I think that Carrie, you know, didn't like that his wife wasn't the perfect wife. I think she was kind of more, you know, she said no. She's like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be, you know, this perfect person. You know, I need to go to therapy. I need to be on antidepressants. And I'm going to talk to my family about it. And I feel like it bothered Carrie. I feel like it bothered him that he didn't have this this wife that just said, that just said what he wanted to say and just obeyed. And I feel like that's how he came across. So many news outlets have asked him, you know, did you kill your wife and he gets so defensive and yes of course you're gonna get defensive but it's just the way he goes about it he's just you know he's just kind of suspicious and everything he does he's just kind of suspicious and the fact that he started dating seven months later to a woman that was really good friends with his wife and that a week before his wife and her kind of got into this weird like thing it's just so strange the whole thing is strange and i really think that carrie killed his wife um i think that maybe he gave her too much of her medicine maybe he messed with it 
I think maybe he, I don't know. I really don't know how he killed her since, you know, the police couldn't find out. I mean, clearly it wasn't with, you know, a gun or blunt force trauma or anything like that. Um, you know, it could have been suffocation. You just don't know how she died um, because it could have been anything, you know. They just really couldn't figure it out. But I do think that Carrie could have possibly killed Lynn. The second theory is that she took the wrong amount of her medication and ended up just wandering off on the farm in the middle of thunderstorm and actually OD'd. So this is another one that, you know, I also think about too. Maybe she took too much of her medication and maybe it was a little bit more than she's taken in the past three times. Maybe she wandered off outside and died from an overdose. So that's another big one that people think as well. But it still doesn't, I just don't understand how no one found her. So I just really don't understand how no one, how people go two years, they do not find her body on the farm, but her body was never buried. So it's just, and how police never found her, I I really don't understand this at all. They say that, the, that her body was never moved, but I really, I really don't know. I, I think her body was buried. I think the police got it wrong. Or I think that someone moved her body, but I have no clue. Honestly, that just makes no sense to me. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Um, the other one is that she intentionally killed herself. I think this is the least likely. I don't think that she was going to kill herself. She made so many plans for the next day. Why would she do this? Um, and why would she just wonder if and how did she kill herself? You know, um, they did check her pills and it was kind of the right amount. You know, like it's not like her whole pill, all of her pills were gone. So. It's so weird. She would have had to have been planning this for a long time if she killed herself with pills and that none of her pills were like the wrong amount. She was like saving them up or something. I don't really understand it and I don't think she killed herself, but you know, some people do. Um, and then the other one is that Carrie and Spring killed Lynn. Um, they had actually been plotting it. I think that kind of goes hand in hand with that Carrie killed her. So this kind of all makes sense to me. I think that maybe Spring had something to do with it and that maybe she threatened Lynn. That's why Lynn was scared and that maybe Lynn saying to Elizabeth that she wants Carrie and Spring to get married was like a cry for help. Um, but then there's the note and it just doesn't make sense. You know, who wrote the note? Was it Lynn? You know, was Lynn forced to write this note? And is that why she wrote it weird so that people would, you know, suspect something to being off? I don't really understand it, but the, the note doesn't make sense to her killing herself. It just doesn't make sense with the theories. Um, then the last one that I kind of have thought about, I'm not 100% sure on, but it's really weird and I actually had seen on another YouTube clip that some people were actually said some good theories about this was that Abraham and Elizabeth killed Lynn Messer. So a week before Lynn went missing, Abraham and Lynn got into a heated discussion. Like Abraham lost it on Lynn and he was just outraged at her about a very simple conversation on raising children. Abraham and Elizabeth didn't even have children so I don't know why the conversation got so heated. It's like, you're not even there yet in life, but I don't know. They just had this really heated discussion, uh, Lynn and Abraham did, and it was apparently really, really bad. But Abraham says that he made up with his mom a few days later, but he also failed the polygraph test. I don't know. I kind of have a suspicion that maybe Abraham did it and maybe Elizabeth helped, um, but I don't know. I, I don't know why he would kill his mom, but that's another theory is that maybe Abraham and Elizabeth killed Lynn Messer. So those are the theories that I've seen. Those are some of the theories that I am kind of thinking about. I still don't know and I'm really curious what y'all think. Um, and I would love for this case to be solved. It's so frustrating whenever cases like this are just come to a dead end. Okay, so that is all for today's true crime video. Um, I This case is so frustrating. It is literally, I, I just really want the answers and I'm sure everyone else does. So. Um, if y'all have any theories or if y'all actually know anything or have anything to tell the police, have any evidence or something like that that could lead to the person that killed Lynn Messer or the answer to how she passed away, then please call the St. Genevieve County Police Department. I will have their phone number on the screen. Um, I would just love and I'm sure so many people close to her would love to have the answer to how she died and who did it. So, um... That would be really helpful, I'm sure, to the case and everyone else involved. But <sighs> wow, what a case. And I'm so curious and so interested to hear y'all's inputs and what y'all think happened to Lynn Messer. But let me know down in the comments. Let's have a discussion about it. I am 
just I, I don't even know after that I like need a debrief or something because it's just like so confusing and so complex of a case to me um, because it could have been anything anyone just it's crazy to me but that is all for today's case and today's video if y'all have any other cases that y'all want me to do specifically please let me know down below y'all can also dm me on instagram and i always look at my dms and i have like a little list of uh notes in my phone on what cases people have dm'd me and said on my stories that y'all want me to do so let me know if there's anything specific in the comments or on instagram and i will look at doing some new cases hopefully in the next week or two so yeah i will see y'all in the next video